Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is another video about MacroMonster.com, and this is their program called eCut that does a lot. So if you're going to engrave these, you want them all on the same line. If you've got something on these stars to engrave, I didn't add that. But if you have them nested, it's going to cause you a lot of trouble. It's going to take a lot longer to run because the laser is going to have to go you know, back and forth. But they have a program called, so if you put these on by in hand, by hand, you might have inadvertently got two too close together. So you can go right here to show intersection. And I'm gonna go, no, I wanna see the intersection. And it'll show you right there. It even puts some cross lines that you can delete. And then you can move that one out of the way where it will not cut. And as always, I would take these, select all these, Make sure you get them all and hit B like in boy, you know, put them all on the same plane so they will engrave all the same time. Now, if you do not have anything engraved, that's about as many as I could get on this board or on my laser bed. I could probably put another one there and quite possibly put another one there. And that's about as many as I can get on there. But if you go to E-Cuts, and go to nest and hit apply and then hit okay. It'll save you that much wood. All this is free usable wood because it nested them together. Now, like I said before, I would not engrave this because they're gonna be all sporadic and it's gonna take a lot longer to engrave. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.